Welcome to this presentation on HTML coding. As part of MIJMC program and PGJMC revised program, the first year course content includes one theory paper called Broadcast and Online Journalism. Block 3 of MJM 023 deals with online journalism. One of the main uh, skills required to be part of the online field is to know the system how a website operates, news websites. So in this uh, lecture, this uh, practical uh, lecture, we are going to learn how to create a news websites through HTML coding. In this uh, is a part one. In the part one of this demonstration, we will learn the uh, basics of uh, inserting text element in the website content. Website is a, basically is a multimedia content. It has a the, we can add text, photograph, images, illustrations, animations, audio, and video. We will learn one by one in the later part of the uh, uh, practical demonstration. In the first part, we are going to use text only and how to insert text, how to format the text, adding color and other formatting elements. And uh, for this exercise, we are going to use a simple uh, software called Notepad. In all the Windows system, be it computer or laptop, Notepad is an inbuilt software. And there are many more uh, specialized softwares that are available for HTML coding or web design purposes. For beginners, the Notepad would be ideal because it doesn't support any other uh, provisions for formatting or adding an HTML coding. There are many more open source advanced HTML editors. We will uh, introduce uh, those software in the later stage. In the beginners, in the beginning stage, it would be better to concentrate more on HTML coding without any support from software. So for that purpose, the bare minimum requirement is Notepad and a browser. With that, we are going to learn the, uh, the web page creation. Over the period of uh, next couple of presentations, we are going to learn the basics of news website creation. So, in the in the system, go to uh, Notepad, open the Notepad, there are very minimum number of codes required to create a web page. Minimum, there are very few uh, HTML codes are required. We are going to learn that part to deal with how to insert text. So any uh, new uh, web page while creating, I start with HTML. The HTML uh, line, the first line in HTML is instruction to the computer, more specifically to browser that this file is meant for browser Whatever content is being inserted in the HTML tag has to be displayed as per the instruction and given in the HTML codes. So it's kind of instruction to the software. Start with the HTML, then uh, type head. The head portion is uh, uh, useful for websites to be indexed in a in the search engine if it is the online. If it is in your computer, it's easy to search. Particularly, whatever information is being given in the head is useful for identification, search, indexing, for the tribal purpose. And in this exercise, we are going to learn very basic because in our advanced website, we can add a lot of metadata in the head part. These are keywords whenever somebody searches in the Google or Yahoo or any other websites, the results are matched with the keywords are displayed. So here we can insert as many number of key, keywords in the meta, metadata tag. But in the, this exercise, we are learning the basic one. The title, next one is the title. And here we are typing, welcome to Ignos Lab Journal. And this is a basic uh, uh, rule in HTML coding. Whenever you start a certain tag, HTML tag, it has to be closed appropriately otherwise it will create error 
So we have created a title and we have closed, we have added the uh, content, we are closing the title. Now the head portion is over. We don't need to add any more content under the head, that's why we have to close the head. Now we will start the, the main part, the body, and whatever the content is being added in the uh, body tag, in, within the body tag, that will be displayed in the browser. But we are not adding anything right now. We have added only the title part. We will see what is what is this content and where it is being displayed and HTML. So we have started the HTML here. We are closing here and the head is being started, is being closed. Within the head, we started the title and title is being closed and body is being opened and is closed. So this is all the basic minimum tags. With that, a uh, uh, HTML file can be created. So now we have typed the basic bare minimum tags. Go to file, the file, whatever we have typed, it has to be saved as HTML. The notepad, by default, is a text editing software. So if we press Ctrl S yes, or save, it will be saved as a TXT file. But we don't want the TXT file, it has to be HTML file because the browser handles only HTML files. So select all files and go to the wherever you want to save. Always advisable for website creation exercise. Create a new folder and that will save all the uh, files within one folder. Files, uh, PDF files or photograph. It's easy to create interlinks. It will create a, a, a computable and easily identify the files. Otherwise, at later stage, if you save file in one folder, picture in another folder, then you are not able to create proper links between these two folders, then automatically a picture won't be available for display. Or similarly, if you keep one file, one HTML file in documents, another HTML file in the desktop, then if you are trying to interlink these two files, if you are not properly linking these two files, then link won't be created. So here we are creating a new folder. Whenever you create a folder, a file, give a name, but the name should not have any space. Here I am using underscore igno lab journal. Create the folder. Within the folder, make sure that you are in all files and give a, a first uh, uh, file name for any website should be index. It's like a book uh, index page. This index is a, a default file name for computer to recognize that any file that contains any folder that contains index file that considered to be a home page. The home page of the uh, website should be named as index file. Index.html. Click save. It will be saved as a index uh, HTML file. Now uh, we will open the uh, browser either Chrome or Explorer or Firefox or you can use anything. So in that uh, browser, click uh, Control O, open and go to documents and go to uh, you know, lab journal. See the index is being uh, the file, whatever we created, is showing as index HTML file, click open. And the file is being uh, displayed, but uh, it's showing the empty page. We we'll go back to the notepad. Here, see that we have inserted only this part. Welcome to Igno's Lab Journal. This is a part of the title. So, if you come to the browser, here you can see that. Welcome to Igno's Lab Journal. So, the title saves two purposes. Serves two purposes. One, it gives a name and identification for the tab. Secondly, it gives a, a provision for the search engine to display the content or uh, uh, display the results based on the keywords. If that matches with the title, first priority. Of course, the search engine takes the keywords from your body text also. But uh, if something is uh, more information given in, uh, in the title page, that will be easy for search engine to display the content. So that's the purpose of the title. Now we will go back to the uh, notepad in the body. We will insert a, a text here as part of Igno this media program. Students are required to create a news website. 
so that's a uh, 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 line we have added and we will give one uh, intro to, to that we will repeat the whatever text is being given in the page that, but now whatever we are typing it will be displayed in the main screen so now we have typed now see now already uh, file is being created as index.html we don't need to go back again and again to file save as html and the file is being created now press control yes or file save because already it's being saved in html file so it won't be created as a txt file now go to the browser and just to refresh that no need to open the file again because the file is already opened this is being displayed. Click that one. Now showing the whatever uh, content we have typed here and showing is a running text. Welcome to Ignos Lab Journal as part of the Ignos Media program. Students are required to create a news website. But any text, any news story, it has multiple components. One is a headline, then followed by deadline, then intro, body, and other uh, paragraphs. So now we have added the text, but there is no demarcation of which one is the text, which one is the headline. So now we will divide the, uh, the, these two lines, some portion as headline, remaining or text, a uh, normal body text. So one portion we are converting into H uh, the headline. So the, to convert to HTML, the simplest one is to use H1. H1 is equal to font size 24. And you can keep uh, to H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, H7. It goes in, um, uh, up to seven headlines. All are uh, 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 font size like a start H1 starts 24, then 22, 20, 18, 16, 14. All looks like a bold color, bold in nature. So we have created a H1. And till which portion this is being considered as a headline font size 24. So, up to this part, we have uh, considered as a headline. Remaining our running text. So, welcome to Ignos Lab Journal is a headline. So, save this, go back to the browser, refresh it. You will see that the first part is being converted to headline. Now, we have added the text, now we will add more text. Vice program, we have one theory course on broadcast and online journalism. In this block, three is still online journalism as well as the website, the news website, creation practical is part of our practical course print and online. so now we have added the uh, text now we will save this we will go back to the browser and refresh that so it's uh, whatever content we are adding is running like a uh, running text whenever you want to add any component you can uh, add highlight certain portion we have added a headline within the text we have three provision for highlighting the content one is a bold one is underline one is inter italics we will add that basic formatting to our content so with this ignores media program we will make it a bold it's a b for bold and make sure that the portion which portion you want to make it bold only that portion needs to be creating bold effect. So close the B. Otherwise, the entire text will become bold. So it starts with the Igno and it closes at the Igno's program. 
So that will become bold and then uh, this MIJMC program we will underline that. And the course on broadcast journalism we will make is italics. And uh, you can add all uh, in one bold. So suppose this part I'll make a bold, underline, italics. But make sure that it's being uh, closed appropriately. So italics first closed. Then we are closing underline, then we are closing bold. So now we have created a bold, underline, italics, and we applied all for a certain portion. Let us see how the result is coming out. So now you can see that it's being bold, it's being underline, then this is italics. And this part, we have applied all three bold, underline, italics, all being applied here. So that is the main uh, main part of that uh, main part of the content. Now we will add more content into that. In the practical course, MJM L zero to zero news website. Okay. It is expected that using HTML code for this exercise, minimum of five new stories need to be placed in five. All these five pages will be interlinked by that. Yes, small videos for that create. So now we have saved all the, uh, we have typed the content. It's running, it's running from the beginning to the end, we accept the headline, save this file and go back to the browser, refresh that, showing the running text. Because the news story can't be run without any paragraph break. It has to be segregated, one row and first paragraph and second paragraph. If you continuously type the content and it looks like one paragraph and very difficult to read a newspaper and more difficult to read it now, online. In the online platform, that sentence has to be short, paragraph should be short. So, yeah, multiple uh, paragraphs is always better. Because usually, online readers they used to scan the pages and very rarely they'll uh, read um, the material available in the, in, the, in the online pages. So, short sentences, short paragraph, short story uh, is better. Always you. Uh, Divide the big story into multiple pages. So now we are. What we are going to do? We will add the paragraph uh, in uh, code. We will say that the, the paragraph starts from here and ends in this way. Here, closing the P, and then we are starting the next paragraph. We are starting the P. Then here we are closing the paragraph. So this is a uh, way. This way we have created two paragraph. Uh, we started with the P here, and then we are closing the P here. And the next paragraph starts from here, and then the paragraph closes here. So save this file, go back to the browser, and refresh that. So automatically, is the line is being created. The next one uh, is creating a font color. So by, by default, the HTML code and gives a black color for the all the text. But it has to be changed. This is a, a code for adding color, but now we'll add the color for 
headline, font, color. Make sure that the color spelling is C O L O U R. And within the double quote, type red. There is a two way of adding color to the font. Now we are adding the red color. We are typing the red. There is another way. Is there is a numerical values attached with each color. Uh, for example, black means uh, zero, 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 zero. That's a black. And white is FF, FF, FF. So these are the uh, there are uh, codes for each color. In between this black and white, there's uh, you can combine with zero, number zero, zero, or you can combine A, B, C, D, E, F like that. Zero to nine and A to F. You combine all this uh, combination of multiple numbers, multiple alphabets. It will create millions of color. We will introduce the code in the next uh, part of the presentation, and now we will go with a simple uh, tag that will add color to the text. Make sure that the font is being created, is being closed wherever you want to end the color. So this is the one and font color. Welcome to Lab Journal, and this is the one. So only this portion gets uh, red color. Right, save, go back to the browser and refresh that. So automatically, the color is being added to the text. So this is the basic fundamental part of uh, text, uh, handling the text for web pages. How to add headline, how to add paragraphs, and how to add basic formatting like bold and line tags. And we are using a notepad and make sure that while first time we'll type in a notepad, uh, the text HTML file in the notepad, click save as option rather than the save, the save as option. Make sure that you are selecting all file and put the file name dot HTML. Save that file and go to the browser, open the file, you will get uh, the whatever content you typed in HTML code is being displayed. You may practice it in this way for a couple of times and subsequently we will learn more about adding pictures, adding links, how to create tables and other components of news website. Thank you.